Hi, I'm Ken Gucci. Hey, I'm Tanner Faust. And I drive for the RSR Scion team. And I drive the 2009 Rockstar Scion TC. A typical training day consists of, of course, bringing the car out, testing numerous sets of tires with different various tire pressures, uh, different spring rates, testing out different dampening rates, raising the boost, lowering the boost perhaps, and changing the aerodynamics a little bit. Uh, we like to test all these various aspects of the car just to make it perform better. I gotta be honest, I'm not the best guy at prepping for the races. I um... I try to get the car comfortable for me, but I'm lucky in that it's three or four different worlds that I live in between stunt driving and TV show hosting and different types of racing. I get to drive a lot of stuff sideways and, and push to the limit. So I consider every bit of it training. Even when I'm on the movie set and I'm sliding around in something for Fast and Furious or something like that, that's kind of training for, for drifting in competition, even though I'm not pushing as hard. So I get a lot of time behind the wheel. And even when you go to a go-kart track or something, it's that's kind of like training for me and that's the kind of training I like. Here today at, uh, at the first event of the Formula D series in Long Beach, the day's pretty long. Really early, six o'clock, got up, you know, got ready. Picked on my girlfriend around 7.30. So I get to the track and, and the guys are there before me. They've got the trailer open and everything. So in the driver's meetings in drifting, you, you've got to be in a driving suit. So I pretty much get there just in the nick of time and get in my driving suit and, and head off to the meetings. And, and in the meetings, uh, the judges will usually talk, uh, refresh our memories on what they're looking for on this particular track and what line they're looking for and who's doing the right thing and stuff. Gee, you know, and, and try, trying to get everybody on the same page so we can put up the best show. Then I'll come back and tell my team what the judges told me, so we all kind of have an understanding of how we want to drive. And from there, you know, I'll talk to the fans, I'll do some media interviews, chit chat, hang out. When I hang out with the drivers, it's usually, usually the Japanese drivers because they have a lot of uh, news from Japan and I like to stay updated. So when we all hang out as a group, we usually like to talk uh, about other drivers, especially the US drivers. Well, he's gonna like sit down. Like, oh, look at his hair today. It looks terrible. And, like, oh, look how ugly his wheels are. We just kind of like joking around, talk shit about each other. But of course, nothing serious. It's just joking around. We like to stay laughing, and you know, drifting is it's all about fun. So we like to have a good time, laugh, and at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. The cool thing about drifting is that it's very accessible to the fans. You know, there's no closed pits. There's hardly any pits that actually even have barriers between the fans and the cars. Somebody wants to see under the hood, you pop the hood, you let them stick their head under there and take a look. You know, that's how it is. Lots of autographs, you know, lots of kids, um, and lots of, you know, 45-year-old kids. So it's, uh, it's a really cool atmosphere. Everybody's addicted to cars and addicted to what they're watching on the track and um, it's a very hands-on experience for a driver to be so close to the fans. My favorite thing about the competition Scion TC is the fact that it's rear wheel drive, it's one of a kind, it's custom wide body, it's got its own body kit, and um, Scion's all about individuality and being unique. The 2009 Rockstar Scion TC is a brand new car for me, and one of my favorite parts about it, it I mean, it sounds a little maybe superficial, but is the sound. I mean, the TRD NASCAR V8 is ridiculous. And when the fire lights at about 6,000 RPM, and it revs up to 9,000 RPM, I mean, the whale of a V8 at 9,000 RPM is awesome. So I'm like midway through the corner, like, wow, this sounds really bitching, you know, and can you know just about forget where I am on the track. but. It's a pretty amazing car. My favorite thing about racing for Scion is the fact that Scion loves to involve their owners in the sports. 
and, um, and pretty much everything they do, they like to bring the owners out, the fans, and they do a lot for their fans. And it feels like being in the San racing team is like a one big family. So being in this team, you feel welcomed and you feel very involved. My team manager at uh, with the AEM Drift team was Stefan Papadakis, and he had a relationship with Scion, and Scion was doing some cool things. They had Ken Gucci out in this crazy Scion TC, and it just looked sick, and Ken really got a lot of the kinks figured out in 2008. And so 2009, when Stefan's relationship with Scion kind of came to fruition, and they wanted to have a second car in the series, we jumped all over that. What I love most about drifting is the fact that when I'm in the car behind a steering wheel sideways, I get into this zone and it becomes a natural high for me. Uh, I forget about everything else around me and it, I'm just in this zone and nothing else matters. It's just an adrenaline rush. Drifting is, a, is an incredibly challenging sport because a couple things. First of all, uh, basically the closer you come into crashing, the higher your score. And I don't know really any other sport like that, where you're being pushed by three judges that know what they're looking at, um, and they're basically telling you, you need to risk 100%, you know, at least. And you need to be pushing 100%. And if you're pushing 95%, terrible score. So you really have to be on the edge. And sitting there with 15,000 people in the stands, watching and TV cameras going everywhere, and the green light goes, and you know that in the next 15 seconds, you have a really good chance of completely wadding up you know, a whole team's worth of hard work. It makes me more nervous than ever, anything that I do. And so that, uh, that's a big challenge with drifting.